I will now perform the alley docking skill. And what it consists of, it consists, you see just like this diagram over here. This represents my bus. My uh, school bus is parked parallel to a yellow line with cones. This is what we see over here on the right hand side of my cone. I see it with my cross view mirrors and my flat and convex mirrors and through my service door. And what we need to do is to back up and make roughly a 90 degree turn as we back up to bring the bus back in this box over here. As we turn, we don't want to go over this line on my right hand side because this is considered a wall. So we don't want to cross that line and when we're done at the end, we don't want to go too far back because this over here, this is a wall also. So we don't want to back up into that cone. So I will show exactly how to perform this maneuver. So now I will put the transmission into reverse. I release the parking brake by pushing on the parking brake. And I let the vehicle roll gently. I steer to the left, but not too much. Just gently, because I don't want the front bumper, the, cor the right corner on the front bumper, I don't want that to go over that line. So I go very, very gently like this. Then eventually I'm going to get a feel that I can clear. Like about now. Now it's time to go very a hard, a hard left. See? It's clearing now. And I don't have much room. So I know that now that I went at a 90 degree angle, I'd be just about ready lined up with that box behind me. There's not that much extra room. And that's about it. If I look in my mirrors now, I'm pretty much lined up in that box. I can adjust. Now I see my cone, I'm, I'm, I'm lined up to where my cones are about at equal distance on each side. Using my flat mirrors, that's what I see. But if I see that I'm not totally, you know, if I see a, a whole line of cone on this side, and on this side I see only one cone, and the second cone I cannot see because it's hiding behind my uh, rear bumper, then I know I need to, to readjust accordingly. And it's important not to focus only on the bumper. It's important to focus on the back wheels, because the back wheels, this is where the vehicle pivots. So if I need to, if I need to readjust, I focus on the pivot and then I readjust, you know, left or right to bring my vehicle back in the, in the middle. And I do it very gently, because we don't, a little bit like a, 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 a ship when there are waves. If the waves are too strong, the ship eventually will, will uh, flip over. You don't want to go shh, shh, shh. You, you want to even up. That's the same. You want to avoid very drastic moves. So you, you go very gently. So that's what I'm doing now. I stay in the middle if needed to correct the situation, then I correct. My box is only 43 feet long. My bus is 40 feet long. So that's only 3 feet of extra room. Now I am allowed to get out and look and to pull ups with this maneuver, with this kill. So that's, I need to use them just on the same side because I don't want to back up in that last cone. So now I looked in my cross view mirrors and I know that my first set of cone is near my uh, my front bumper and we see indeed that's what we're getting over here. So if I, I do my get out and look, I walk all the way to the back of my bus. And I see that I have roughly 
four feet. That's very important not to knock up this cone over here. If you tip the cone like this, if you go too far, you tip the cone like this without throwing the cone down, the, the examiner most likely will take a couple, a couple of points off, you know, on the, the uh, exam sheet, you know, on the score sheet. But if you take it all the way down like this, that's a fail. So you don't wanna, you don't wanna do that. This is why it's important to use your get out and look. Make sure you, you don't drive too far because you don't have much room. A 43 foot long box, when you have a 40 foot long bus, that's not that much margin. But that did not get out and look. I know that I have about four feet to adjust. And I go back to my driver's seat, mentally, I know about roughly, you know, I can back up another two and a half feet. Then I pull the parking brake again. I can use another get out and look. I use only one. Then when I'm, you know, well, uh, I'm in the box and everything is fine, I just get back to my seat and blow the horn to let the examiner know that I'm done. That's it.